Hey guys, it's Dom here from DB Blades. So what you're looking at now is the beginning of the next batch of grunts that I'm doing. I'm hoping to get 18 out of CPM S35VN. I've got a couple of sheets of that. The reason I'm saying hoping is there's a lot of things that can go wrong. I make my knives, or at least I'm making this batch, out of blocks of steel like this that I chopped up the other day. You can see right now in the middle of surface grinding it. So, you know, all these holes I marked out and drilled by hand, so there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Like I can break a drill bit off in there, I can drill, drill a hole crooked, I can make one explode. I've never made one explode yet, but anything is possible, especially with this model. There's a lot of little things that you have to know when you put it together, how how to grind it, how what order you got to do things, how you need to drill it to get it, at least the way I like them. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the next couple months. There is going to be hopefully 18 in, in CPMS 35VN, maybe 6 in 01. I think I might get 5 of the 01s once uh, Cerakoted. I'm not sure yet. I don't really know how it's going to look. I just got to think about how I want to do it and if I'm going to like it or if it's even worth doing it or not. And I might get some Damascus ones as well. I have a couple pieces of steel, or I have a piece of Damascus coming from uh, New, South, not New South, well, South Australia, I believe. It's made by hand in Australia, so it's expensive stuff, but looks pretty cool, and it's handmade in Australia, so what, could, what more could you ask? I don't know how many grunts I can get out of it, though, because he did say there's some flaws in there, so I might have to work around it, so hopefully I can get some grunts out of that, too. So if you want a grunt, let me know. I have sold about half of the S35VN ones, maybe more. So you're going to have to be quick because once I've run out of spots, I can't chuck you on anymore because I have no more steel. I build my knives, especially the grunts, in batches. So you have to get in early, otherwise you're just not going to get one. Also, we're going to have some of these coming. Just some, uh, some more keychain cutters. Some little things. I might just take them to the shows, to some knife shows, you know, put them on the table, something cheap. So the guys who come to a knife show can pick up something without having to spend $300. Something small, cheap, you know, so you can just chuck in the bottom of your bag and you don't need, uh, you don't know you have it until you need it. Or, you know, put on your keys as the name suggests. So those will be coming. Also, we'll get, all right. Time to get into the actual knives, not just updates. So first off, we have this. Kydex sheath. Nicely hand burnished and hand red edges on the kydex, so it's not abrasive on your skin. It feels nice. Plus, it looks nice because it's been highly polished. G10 with a titanium pin and a layer G10 bead and a titanium blade. We have a, a blasted uh, heat coloring on the flats. With my logo on the back there. Kind of hard to see, but it's there. Satin spine, satin grind. I really love how this grind came out. It has that awesome look where they meet, and it's almost sharp here. You can almost cut yourself here. Big lump style tip, mirror polished. Fits nicely in the hand. And this is all titanium, so if you wanted to, this is all, you know, this is also, it's plastic. So if you wanted to, you could stick this under salt water for a couple hundred years, see what happens. Because to the best of my, uh, my knowledge, titanium doesn't corrode, neither does titanium pins, neither does the G10. So, you don't really have to worry about it rusting, which is cool. So that's that. I've got to kind of hurry through this because I don't really want to make this a really long video. Next, we have a possible new model. I made six, five or six of these. These are my gunslingers. Now the blades all can all be different. This is not the exact blade, this is a... Uh, a modification of the original. The gunslings have actually got a bit more belly, but this is what they are. They are um, acid stone washers, titanium, so I didn't have any steel left, so I made them out of titanium, so it's really light. They come with titanium pocket clips. And my thinking was I wanted to make a knife that was sort of a, the middle ground between a fixed blade and a folder. So guys uh, could kind of transition from carrying a folder to carrying a fixed blade, because I do like carrying fixed blades. It's also, so you have very quick, uh, quick deployment. It's very easy to carry thanks to the pocket clip. And I'm going to put a, um, oops, got a lot of depth perception. I'm going to put a piece of paracord here so you can tie this to the belt or the belt loop 
and you can pull and that's going to hook onto your pan. Uh, if you tie this onto your pants, when you pull, it's going to pull the sheath off for you so you can deploy it in one hit. It's very lightweight. And I might do a batch of these out of steel, maybe ABL, because I have a lot of it, with a titanium clips as well. I just don't know when I'm going to do it. I have a bunch of grunts that I have to get through first, so that's going to be something I have to look at. So if I did do these, it'd be somewhere in the middle of the year that I'd start offering these. But if you're interested in, in them, let me know. If I make a list or something, I don't know. I might just put you on a mailing list if you want one of these, and I'll make a, a mailing list specific to these, to this model. So that's that. Again, this is titanium. Very lightweight, very cool knife. Next, we have another titanium fixed blade. A lot of titanium ones this week, and all these knives are already sold, so don't ask you guys. A lot of the, most of the knives I make have already been sold. It's fairly rare now that I make a knife that hasn't been, because I don't have time for it, and it's much more convenient for me as well just to make knives that have already been sold and I don't have to risk it not selling. So this is another titanium fixed blade, very small. Something, you know, just chuck in the bottom of your bag. Similar to the key and chain cutter, chuck in the bottom of your bag. You don't need, know you have it until you need it. Gets you out of a pinch, that sort of stuff. It has not been sharpened yet, like the titanium ones. So when it's finished, you'll have a big mirror polished bevel here, so you can do all your slicing tasks. Titanium does not get as sharp as steel, but it's going to get pretty bloody close, so if you need a very sharp edge, you'll probably have it. Depends how good you are at sharpening the titanium, I guess. <laughs> so, acid, uh, not acid stone washed, blasted, stone washed, and on a rock pattern. The sheath is a little bit tight, just needs to break in a little bit, and you have to just put it in properly. It's a bit difficult with these, uh, with the knives here when they have this, when they don't have a handle, and they can be a bit difficult with Kydex. So we also have a Kiridashi, or a Dashi, whatever the hell you want to call it. Kydex sheath with a mirror finished satin bevel. It's not satin, no, mirror polished bevel. This is very sharp, exceptionally pointy tip, if it'll focus. It doesn't look that pointy because the, the rounding spine kind of has a weird effect on the tip, but it is very pointy, so you can pull all your splinters out and do all that crazy things. Very sharp. Acid stone wash, so, you know, it'll help resist scratches. Very nice, small little knife. Again, mirror finished bevels, or mirror finished uh, edges on all the Kydex. Now the last knife, and the one that I really want to show today, is my full size chef knife. I'm very proud of how this one came out. This is the first one I've ever done, in stainless anyway and it came out exceptionally sharp. I mean, the paper's just scared. I mean, it just, the paper sees this knife and panics. It is like a laser. Spent a lot of time sharpening some of the Japanese water stone, so it is nuts. Hand rub satin finish at 320 grit, so it's a, it has that look of a hand rub satin, but it, doesn't scratch as easily as one does it. If you, you know, if you take a hand rub up to like 2000 grit, it's much more vulnerable to scratches than 320 grit. So this is sort of your worker grade satin finish because this is a kitchen knife and it does get, it will get used like crazy. We have, for the handles, we have black G10 that has been contoured. A huge, I really went out of my way to um, champ or champ or, um, to round the top of this so you can pinch up on it, how a chef knife is supposed to be used. Nice, generous blade. The spine has been rounded, so it's really nice new finger. The logo came out very nicely. All right, there you go. It comes out nice. It came out very nicely. There's uh, some fingerprints on the blade, but that's just because I forgot to clean it because I'm an idiot. Fits nicely in the hand. And I went with Corby bolts for the handles. I've uh, transitioned to using Corby bolts instead of pins at least for the glued on handles, because they're a lot easier to use. You don't have to peen them. And the good thing about them is that they're stronger. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are much, much more user friendly and they're much stronger. For, uh, Cause for those of you that don't know, a Corby bolt is like a screw with a really long head. And what you do is you glue it all together and then you grind the heads off the screws. So you've got that, that lip from the screw, but it's much stronger and you don't have to mess around with peening it or anything. So it's a much stronger construction. It's easier for me to do. And it's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. 
very sharp, a nice satin all around. Came out very nice. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching. Had to really rush through this video, don't have a lot of time right now. Christmas is coming which is, you know, crazy. I've got to get knives out before Christmas, expressing stuff left, right and center. So I have to really rush through this video. So I'm sorry about that guys, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you very much for watching and I know I don't say this enough, but thank you for the guys that spend their money on my gear. I really do appreciate it. The guys that go out there and they spend their hard earned money with me, it, I, it really, it means a lot to me. It lets me do what I do every day and I love being a knife maker. It really, it makes me happy and that's really all that I care about. It really, it, I love what I do. So thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I'm out. Adios.